What up, guys? James from Bolt Bros here. Want to talk about, man, this all-star coaching staff that we got for the Chargers. Jim Harbaugh is making moves, and I love seeing it. But let's talk about Mark Tressman being hired in as the senior offensive assistant to work with Greg Roman. So really awesome to be able to see this hiring. Once again, guys, let's get into it. James from Bolt Bros. Let's go. I'm Deion Henley. You watching the Bolt Bros podcast? Let's do it! Guys, once again, James from Bolt Bros here. Appreciate all the support, love, and everything for this offseason, guys. We've got a ton of news that we're always going to be breaking for you guys all around. And uh, once again, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not. We appreciate all the support and love that you guys give us. So once again, guys, we hired Mark Tressman to be a senior offensive assistant to work with Greg Roman. Now, it's an awesome, awesome move. One thing I love so far about all of these moves is that we're just adding more and more experience to this team. We're adding guys that have been in the league, been around for a very long period of time. Not necessarily like guys, well, I guess you could possibly say it's potentially kind of a retread in a sense, but at the same side, experience helps a lot. And one thing that I've always said a lot about uh, Brandon Staley staff, young a lot of guys that don't know what they're doing yet. A lot of guys that are just trying to figure it out. There's a lot of inexperience from top to bottom. And that always made me nervous because when situations arise where you got to make those right choices, you just don't have the experience to know what the right direction to take. Go for it, not go for it. You know, obviously analytics was a big thing that Brandon Staley liked to go on. Sometimes I think it was just more, I want to be more bold. And I'm just going to do it anyways. Um, I mean, work for Dan Campbell, sometimes work for Brandon Staley. And then he got scared after first year of doing it and stopped doing it, essentially. But now you've got another guy here, like a Mark Tressman, who's been in the league and been around football, I mean, since, wow, 1981. I mean, he's been around, guys. And so it's really, really awesome to be able to see him be added to this offensive staff to really kind of solidify the offensive, you know, coordination and everything with this team. It's great. I'm I'm very excited about this hiring. Now, he also was a past head coach. Now, once again, I love to see that. I love to be able to see that you have a guy that has been an offensive or excuse me, a head coach, actually did have some success as a head coach. Um, and now, you know, he's going to be just an offensive assistant with us. He was also initially um well last in the XFL as a, um, you know, head coach, uh, general manager at that time and won a couple gray cups too. So back to back gray cups too. Um, he was also CFL coach of the year in 2009 and 2017. Um, really cool. He's got plenty of experience all around. So going back to Florida, my, Miami for a couple years there, Vikings running back coach, quarterback coach of the Bucks, offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, Quarterback coach at the Vikings, uh, Niners offensive coordinator, uh, quarterback coach, quarterback coach for the for the Lions, Cardinals offensive coordinator, quarterback coach. I mean, he has been around. Now, I'm kind of just going to chat a little bit more about the head coaching job for the Chicago Bears and kind of what he did. I mean, there's a lot of these jobs that he's only been there for a couple of years and then moved on and then whatnot. Um, you know, he went from a head coach from the Montreal Alouettes winning a couple, you know, gray cups and then went to a head coach. So from one head coach, completely different league to the NFL and, and jumped over from there, but then was once again, Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator for two years. So there's a level of commonality with Greg Roman. Once again, there's that connection with the Ravens, with player and coaches that are currently on this team. Continuity guys, that is key. People that know how to work together. That is key. People on the same page, that is key. I think it's just such a great hiring to add more experience to this team, give so much level of support for our players 
to make sure they're put in the right places at the right time and make the right calls for whatever player or play calling we do have. Go back to the Chiefs game. I mean, you go back to their corn dog call that they made to be able to get the last touchdown to win. You know what? You put the right players in the right position to be able to win the game, right? And that's exactly what the Chiefs do, and they do it often. They have a very good, solid set of coaches there, everybody on the same page. Andy Reid does a phenomenal job of making sure that the right plays are called, the players are put in the best positions to win. So, crazy. So, this staff is insane to me, but let's go a little bit more into the um, 2013 season for the Chicago Bears and just kind of go a little bit more about how he was as an offense, or actually, I should say, as a head coach for the Chicago Bears. Now, big thing about the Chicago Bears is that they did a couple of years prior, they did get to a Super Bowl um, with Lovey Smith. You know, obviously they let go of Lovey Smith at that time uh, or a couple of years after. And then they brought in uh, Mark Tressman as a head coach. Now, the beautiful thing about it is, is this is like the craziest I think I've ever seen the Chicago Bears offense ever. And there was an eight and eight team. Cool. I get it. Mark Trestman is not the head coach for our team, but he was second in the league for points. The guy knows how to basically create an offense that could score. And he did it with Jay Cutler. He did it with, uh, was it all Sean Jeffrey? I believe. Yep. All Sean Jeffrey, 89 catches, 1,421 yards. He had Brandon Marshall, 100 catches for 1,295 yards, 12 touchdowns. Even had All Sean doing some rushes too. And Matt Forte was playing at a high level. Love Matt Forte. And this was like a massive year for him. So 1,339 yards, nine touchdowns, 74 catches for 594 yards. That's awesome, right? You got to see that you're getting the ability to get a, the most out of your running back, a guy who's 28 years old, and then you also had two wide receivers over 1,000 yards. Now, if you look at Greg Roman's past as a passing coordinator or at least an offensive coordinator on the passing game, there's not a lot of 1,000-yard wide receivers on the team. I feel like they brought in Mark Tressman to be that guy to be able to really focus heavily on the passing game coordination and making sure – that we're going to get high level production out of our wide receivers. Chargers got some really good wide receivers, right? You know, I think that's the big thing about this. The Chargers have signed Mark Tressman to solidify the wide receiving coordination side of things. A lot of people are leery about the whole Greg Roman hiring because he's a very run heavy offensive coordinator. Mark Tressman is the key here, guys. Mark Tressman is absolutely the key to the passing game. He is the one that's going to unlock the passing game side of the of the offensive, you know, play calling. And Greg Roman's going to be the running game coordination to this team. That's why this hiring for Mark Tressman is absolutely huge. Balance to the game, bringing a complete offense to this team. I love this hiring. This is a great hiring all around. Jim Harbaugh is putting together such an amazing, amazing staff all around. And I'm so excited to be able to see that. So once again, guys, I'm going to keep it kind of a short video all around. But once again, this is an amazing, amazing staff here on top of this hiring from Mark Tressman. Even to say you're adding, you know, Nick Hardwick to this team, putting him as an offensive line coach or assistant offensive line coach, making sure you keep Ryan Ficken on this team, keeping you know, assistant special teams coach Chris Gould, who obviously our special teams are the best that we've seen in a long time. Keep them there. Defensive quality coach, also Russ, Robert Muschamp, will also be there too. Making sure there's continuity in places where you're getting a lot of strength. And I love that Jim Harbaugh kept everybody on the special team side, but then also adding more experience all throughout this entire team. So I love it. Great move to be able to add Mark Tressman. Great move, adding X chargers to this team. All around, guys, this is a very, very exciting time for this Chargers fan base. you got to love what we're seeing. Probably the best that we've ever seen as a Chargers fan and putting together a great staff for this team. I mean, it's, it's, it's exciting time, guys. I can't wait for the season to start. But once again, 
James from Volt Bros. Want to hear from you guys. Put some comments below. Love to be able to hear from you. Tell me a little bit about Mark Tressman as an offensive coordinator, kind of what your thoughts are, how he makes an addition to this team, how he builds this team to become even stronger as a team, and how we could be extremely feared as a team next year. So once again, like and subscribe to the channel. Very much appreciate all your support and love, guys. And once again, guys, James from Bolt Bros. Let's go.